That's a wrap on the 2024 Rookie Faceoff Tournament here in LA. From a team performance standpoint, the Avs rookies fell 0 for 3 in the entire tournament this weekend, failing to win a contest. They had their first lead of the tournament in their Game 3 against the San Jose Sharks this afternoon, but due to some undisciplined play on both sides, they were unable to keep it, and things got a little bit away from them. There were still some standouts in this tournament, despite the end result not being what any of the players would have hoped for. And let's start with Cal Ritchie. He was a strong playmaking presence throughout the whole weekend, especially on the power play as a consistent creator there. And his improvement inside of game one after a quiet first period really showed maturity on his end and his handling and ability to find seams stood out in this tournament. I know the conversation around Richie is whether or not he is ready to make an NHL roster and push for a full-time job there. I still don't feel that this sample size has been enough to make that kind of assessment about Richie. He did what he needed to among his peers in this environment, but because they didn't get winning results, it is really hard to evaluate Richie until he's in a game environment with pro players. I think we'll be able to glean a lot more from there. Next on my list of standouts is Sean Behrens. He was a consistent defensive standout this weekend with strong stick work and an effective breakout, which was greatly missed when he took a rest day for game two for the Avs prospects. He created a lot of scoring opportunities on the power play in particular. Notably, there was a big hit on San Jose's prospect, Quinton Musty, in the showcase in Game 3 here that demonstrated that physicality that you can come to expect him to play with and you shouldn't underestimate. And you also saw a little bit of his leadership teased in this tournament. He was calling out instruction to his teammates on a 3v4 PK it ultimately led to a goal, but his instruction wasn't the reason that happened. It was just a very challenging situation for them. Overall, I'm really pleased with even the minor adjustments that Barron's made from his game one into his game three. And it was a commitment to the defensive details that really helped to dial in and lock in the vision for the defensive group. It was just a challenging game three for the Avs against the San Jose prospects. Another guy I want to talk about is Oscar Olausen. In game one, he finished a scoring chance with a strong wrister and worked well with that top power play unit. And I want to call to attention something that happened in game three. He, ev he evaded his defender to reset and re-enter outside the offensive blue line. And I watched other players try the same thing in this tournament without success. And it was a reflection of more refined puck skill that he made look easy. And so it's easy to say that he had a luck up on his peers, but harder to have NHL conversations just based on this sample size. We've seen a Lawson in a pro environment already. So there's a level of expectation that he just naturally needs to be meeting in this tournament and to that end he did his puck skill was more seamless compared to his peers but it also left me wanting just a little bit more from a Lawson. he's still a standout and like Richie I want to see him in a training camp environment and in preseason games where he's shown well before just so I can better evaluate how he stacks up against his pro peers all right to round out my list of standouts or takeaways from this tournament I have to wrap up with Ivan Ivan. He displayed fearless and energetic play throughout the whole tournament. He drew multiple penalties because he was difficult to contain and he created a lot of offensive chances. You know, he actually on that second power play unit had some success, found it there with Maximilian Caron, another prospect we were watching in this tournament. And he excelled in puck retrievals. He had that never-ending motor and work ethic that you really want to see in a young player with shades of Arturi Lekkanen coming to mind and played with confidence and swagger, you know, taking on defenders with bold moves that didn't always work, but he dared to try again and again. I really liked Ivan Ivan's tournament and he has quickly moved up my radar in a player that you should be looking out for in main camp. I think it would be a bit ambitious to say that he's pushing for NHL conversations this year, but he is putting himself in that place that it's not so weird to start talking about Ivan Ivan in those terms. That is all from the rookie face-off here in LA. 
Gorilla Sports has been boots on the ground for the entirety of this tournament and we've gotten a lot of great insights from front office staff, coaches and players that you need to check out on our YouTube channel. It's a great primer heading into camp which opens just in a couple of days and Gorilla Sports will meet you back in Denver for Media Day on Wednesday this week.